Okay, so this is a specimen of the deep sea isopod, uh, Bathynomus giganteus. And this was originally preserved in formalin. And so I've been soaking it in alcohol to remove the uh, formalin since that's kind of nasty stuff. So what I'm going to do today is uh, dry it out, get it set up to dry out and make a specimen out of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a couple of punctures in the underside here to um, make a room, f make space for the alcohol to drain out. There, I can see it leaking out. So I can get as much of the alcohol out of it as I can before I set it up to dry. Okay, so now I've got most of the alcohol drained out of it. You can see that the legs have a very sharp um, claw on the end. And up here in the head, the mouth is located right here. There's little jaws here. And it's got a large antenna. And above that, a small antenna. And then these are the eyes here behind the antennas kind of look like sunglasses and then these are gills underneath and gas exchange what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use these uh, bamboo skewers got some bigger ones too to use like pins and I'm going to position it on this styrofoam uh, and then let it dry uh, so that it looks, you know, natural like it's alive. And then um, just a last sort of double check to make sure everything is symmetrical. This leg needs to come out just a little bit. And it's done. Pretty nice. Now we just let it dry. Might take a couple of days. Now it's been three weeks since uh, I pinned this specimen up to dry and it's dry now. So now I'm going to pull out the bamboo skewers, toothpicks. It took longer than I thought to um, dry but the silicone preparation made it take longer to dry. Now we do see some discoloration here on the carapace and that's not unusual and we do have a treatment for that. I have some silicone mixed with uh, alcohol which I will paint on the exoskeleton and that'll soak in and um, smooth out those uh, discolorations. OK, 
Okay, Let's see how it looks. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's dried nice. A little bit of shriveling with the gills, but not bad. So, I will put some of the silicone on, just shake it up. And I've got a brush here I can apply it with. And just sort of rehabilitate the uh, the exoskeleton here. And I may have to put a couple of coats on that over the next couple of days to really get it to sink in. Oh yeah, there was one more thing. One of these front legs had a break on it. This one right in front. See? So what I did was I put a toothpick in there to hold it in place. So all I need to do now is some glue. I use uh, Elmer's Blue Gel and put some glue on the uh, on the toothpick to anchor it in place. Nice glob on there. And then put the leg segment back on. And get it to sink so it, you can't even tell. There. And that's it. We'll coat it a couple more times and let that dry. Put some on the legs too, where they've turned kind of white. It'll bring some of the gray color back in. So. And that's it.